In the aftermath of England's heartbreaking 2-1 defeat by Spain in the Euro 2024 final, former Liverpool midfielder Graham Sonis has turned the spotlight on Manchester United teenager Kabi Mainu. Despite his rapid rise and impressive performances throughout the tournament, Mainu found himself under scrutiny for what Sonis described as a lack of positional understanding. Join us as we delve into Sona's critique, Maynou's journey to the final, and the broader implications for England's tactical approach under the now-departed Gareth Southgate. Graham Sonis did not hold back in his analysis of Kabi Maynou's performance during the final, labeling the young midfielder as naive for his tendency to drift from his assigned position. Maynou, who had a breakthrough season at Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag, was a standout player for England in the knockout stages of the tournament. His journey from the bench to becoming a key player in Gareth Southgate's squad was a testament to his talent and potential. Yet, according to Sonis, it was this very potential that highlighted his inexperience on the big stage. Manu began the tournament as a substitute, with Southgate experimenting with different midfield combinations during the group stage. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Connor Gallagher often partnered with Declan Rice, but it was Maynou's impact as a substitute that earned him a starting spot in all four knockout matches. His performances against Slovakia, Switzerland, and the Netherlands were particularly impressive, showcasing his skill and composure. However, the final against Spain proved to be a different challenge. During the match in Berlin, Maynou struggled to impose himself and was substituted midway through the second half for Cole Palmer. Palmer's immediate impact, scoring a superb equalizer, contrasted sharply with Maynou's subdued display. Spain ultimately clinched the title with an 86th-minute winner for Mikel Yarzabal, leaving England and Maynou to reflect on what might have been. Sonis' criticism centered on Maynou's positional discipline. I think he's really good on the ball. He's very talented on the ball, Sonis acknowledged on the Upfront podcast but he doesn't fully understand the position. He wanders, he empties the middle of the field too readily. Sonis cited previous matches where Maynou's tendency to stray from his position was evident, including a Euro 2024 warm-up game against Iceland and the group stage match against Serbia. The former Liverpool legend also took aim at England's overall style of play in the final, particularly highlighting Declan Rice's lack of forward passing. England were at their best when they won a goal behind, Sonis observed. All of a sudden they started taking risks. They had to be braver and risk making a mistake, risk passing it forward or trying to play someone in. Sonis' frustration was palpable as he revealed his research showing that Rice completed only one forward pass against Spain, a statistic he deemed impossible for a midfield player. The defeat and subsequent criticism led to a significant shakeup within the England camp. Gareth Southgate resigned from his role as manager after nearly eight years at the helm, prompting the FA to begin the search for his successor. The shortlist includes notable names such as Newcastle boss Eddie Howe, England U21 manager Lee Carsley, and former Chelsea head coaches Thomas Tuchel, Mauricio Pochettino, and Graham Potter. As England grapples with the fallout from their Euro 2024 final defeat, the spotlight remains on the development of young talents like Kabi Mainu. Graham Sonis' critique highlights the growing pains that come with integrating youth into the senior squad, emphasizing the need for positional discipline and tactical awareness. As the FA searches for a new manager to lead the three Lions, the future of players like Mainu will be a crucial consideration. Their growth and adaptation will not only shape their individual careers, but also the trajectory of English football on the international stage.